Okay, here's this Zephyr, it's slightly hotter for it maybe now. Just flying down here brother, I can sort of just hold, hold the machine. Yeah, well, no, they've been sitting in the pen all day, probably uh, about to head back out training, but now for ourselves, you know, Artemis has been an absolutely amazing opponent. Um, they've really pushed us incredibly hard. And I think that's something that we'll definitely take forward going into that next round is that, you know, we've had some really, really hard racing from a, an amazing team like Artemis and uh, it'll definitely uh, put us in pretty good shape going to the Cup. On behalf of our whole team, we'd firstly like to congratulate Emirates Team New Zealand on uh, a tough fought battle. And um, at the end of the day, the, the better team won, but, um, and best of luck to them in the match. Um, yeah, you know, today's obviously disappointing. It's the end of racing for us, but, um, you know, to be honest, I couldn't be prouder of, of the team. You know, the, the way we put together the campaign has been a massive improvement from the last campaign. Um, all the decisions I think we made have been, you know, near spot on. And you know, at the end of the day, we we had some very close, tight racing with Emirates Team New Zealand, and um, you know, just couldn't quite get them in the end. So, you know, all in all, really happy. Yeah, today, you know, they had a click of boats bid on us. That final race ended up being a bit of a soldier's course, and you know, it was a pretty even start. We almost thought we had, you know, the advantage there, and we saw how much pace they had on that first reach, something that we hadn't seen you know, in the previous couple of days. And then, um, you know, when it ends up being a bit of a follow the leader course, the only way you pass the boat is if you're quicker and um, they just kept extending. So, you know, hats off to them. You know, they've obviously, um, you know, hit the, hit the nail on the head there with what is required for the design and also how to sail the boat. So, um, you know, well done to them and best of luck for the match. Yeah, it's, it's tough to lose. Obviously, we came here to win, but I look back maybe a little bit more philosophically over the whole three years and where we were after the last campaign and in such a low place competitively and as a team having lost someone and where we are today, undoubtedly one of the top challengers and I feel a lot of proud because it's not easy. That, that takes one hell of a lot of effort from 100 people for three years to drag a team that was minutes behind to being right up there with the very best. So. You know, I can see that it's been fantastic. I can see our progress has been, you know, remarkable when compared to others. But at the same time, you, you never enter a competition or lose, and that's a tough feeling when you are finally out. Uh, it feels a little unreal. Man has been working for something so long, and today it took its end. It's so clear, but it's a det är det bättre laget vann så så är den bitra sanningen så att uh, hats off to team team New Zealand. Ma è stata una bellissima avventura, sono un po' emozionato. È stato due, due anni di lavoro duro per sviluppare questa barca che ci ha dato belle soddisfazioni. 
Eh, chiaramente Team New Zealand aveva un mezzo superiore, eh, un pacchetto veramente di barca, wing, foils che andavano molto bene in tutte le condizioni. Noi abbiamo lottato duro, sono molto contento perché dal punto di vista della, del match race e della regata abbiamo fatto buone cose, soprattutto in partenza e questo è stato in parte anche merito mio che ho, eh, ho fatto parte della, della, parte della strategia e l'allenamento eh, nei confronti di Nathan. Quindi sono contento di questo, 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 da questo punto di vista siamo andati molto bene.